Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. But this stuff, it's all and I have so, left. whether you are here to stay or all right, passing I'm through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It is safer. on that train? Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice Welcome. though, letting me wait for Welcome him. to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, they're, always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always... I see, they took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or have been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing... This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. 
I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Thank you for that, Sir. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological needs. The line starts at the end. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxiety underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking, revision, starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.
Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Well, look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? Can I think of something? When is it all going to end? Don't worry. Please. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Hey, get him! In here! Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off world relocation. Get in here, quick! Keep moving! Head for the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. 